hello friends welcome to my channel once again and in today's video we will be learning how to enable or activate uh, inbuilt admin account or a super admin account which will give you more privileges uh, this account can help you to do anything that you are not able to do in your normal account or if you are trying to install any application which is not getting installed because of uh, limited rights or let it be any problem while installing that application you are getting a message that you don't have uh, privileges to install this particular application so you can enable built-in admin account or a super admin account and log into that account and you can install that particular software in that account there are lots of other things which can be done from that admin account uh, built-in admin account will have all the rights that you need to do anything on your computer so in order to enable built-in admin account you need to open command prompt with admin rights in order to open command prompts you can simply right click on the start menu and if you don't have the latest update instead of windows powershell you will see command prompt with admin uh, or you can simply type in the cortana search c m t and you will get command prompt right click on it and left click on run as administrator so as soon as you do that you may get a prompt from user account control you need to click yes and on that and then you will get a command prompt window and now you will simply you will have to simply type a command that is net user administrator forward slash active colon yes so that is the command as soon as you type the command you just press enter you will get a reply that command completed successfully simply type exit and press enter now in order to get into the admin account which you have enabled you need to first log off from your existing account so right click on start click on shutdown or sign out and simply click on sign out as soon as you click sign out your you will be logged out from your existing account and will go to the lock page or the user account page where you will see one more account and i'll show you how that will look like So when you log out or sign out from your existing account, this is how it looks like. Click sign out. So you'll be back on the lock screen. You click anywhere. So you see I had only two accounts now there is one more account that is called administrator so I will click on administrator that is the super admin account and it will ask me to sign in I'll click sign in and it will start loading our admin account since I don't have a password it will not ask me for a password it will go through these options like uh, how you turn the computer on for the first time or how uh, it will set up your uh, admin account uh, same way as you set up your computer for the first time it may take some time 
So just be patient. So it took about four or five minutes to load a new account that is a super admin account or built-in admin account uh, on my laptop. It may take more or less time on your laptop or desktop. Now normally this account is or by default this account is disabled. You will not see this account enabled on your PC until unless you run this command in command prompt. Now we are logged in in a super admin account. If you want to see that we can right click on start. We can go to control panel uh, by simply typing a command in control uh, in run so type control in run box and press enter when you see control panel like this just change the uh, view to small icons so you will see all the options and you can click on user accounts so do you see administrator it does not say my name or anything else however I have more accounts so if I click on manage other accounts I will see all my other accounts so we will go back and we will close this now same way if you want to uh, get out of this account you right click on the start button you click on shutdown or sign out simply click on sign out and you'll be logged off and I'll show you how it will look like